basically the headline is an old story mm -hmm. that uh, many Kenyans would want to get out of the out of their way the other side of Uhuru and Raila you see strange brothers on public rostrum they roast each other but behind the cameras the sons and daughters of Jomo and Jaramogi radiate a different story as our interviews revealed what I get often in uh, when I when I <clears throat> when I blog is that there is a growing feeling in the country that these two dynasties need to exit the political stage. It, it's, it's, a, it's a narrative that is growing. That until we have new players and until we have the ability to think outside these two dynasties, we are stuck in a spiral that is taking us, um, that is taking us nowhere. I mean, it's been the same story for the last 54 years mm -hmm. and we, we need something new, we need something different. Mm -hmm. At least those are some of the voices that, that, that come across from my readers. But don't you think this is an important conversation to have? <clears throat> yeah. uh, because Kenyans sometimes are divided based yeah. on how these two treat each other on the stadium, or, or rather on the podiums, yeah. whereas secretly yeah. they really are not enemies. So we, we may end up with Kenyans who are divided on tribal lines and yeah. kingpins, which uh, is what they uh, you know, sort of radiate when they're standing on those podiums. However, Secretly, they are totally different people. Uh, yeah, I mean, don't you think that would make a difference for Kenyans to know these people have children who go to the same school, they hang around the same social circles, they call each other in the middle of the night? I cannot say that they are not enemies, okay? Uh, what I can say is they cannot be enemies. It, it is not possible for them to be enemies. These are the beneficiaries of the status quo. Mm. They, they are the people who have more to lose in dismantling the status quo mm -hmm. than any of us in this country mm -hmm. has. So it is not that they are friends, it's only that the nature of the relationship of the families over the last 54 years is so similar that they just find themselves on the same side of, um, on the same side of things. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, don't forget that if you actually remove the tribal factor, what do they stand for? I, it's, it's difficult to tell. I do know that quite a number of Raila supporters do make the argument that he is a reformer and that he fought for the second liberation and he is a Democrat. And I do remind them that elections in his party are run by men in black. I, I do not know how democratic that is. But there is an argument to be made about the pre-1997 Raila. Okay, so, and I say that when history is written, we have to write the history of two Railas. The pre-1997 Raila, that was a reformer, that was a Democrat, that was a progressive Raila. The post-1997 Raila, who joined Moy and merged his party with Kanu, is the Raila we have now. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, and 